Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video uh, I thought to build a very simple app that will uh, remind me to drink water, okay? Because uh, being inside the house all the time I often forget to drink water so I'd like an app, very simple app, no uh, front-end for this, no windows, just a notification every hour that reminds me to uh, move away from the computer and drink some water I'll put this on github okay it will be like an open source project you can clone it and uh, improve it uh, even make some pull requests so others can uh, can use those improvements uh, as I said I will build the app using electron uh, it's basically my second app so well, will be a lot of uh, googling and uh, a lot of new stuff for me also so let's get started let's start with a basic electron uh, project let's see okay so we'll start with with this example let's clone this Let's install all the dependencies. Okay. And uh, let's open this in WebStorm. Okay. So let's let's first uh, go ahead and run this. Okay, so here it is. Yep, it's working so we'll basically have no window okay I only want to send a notification so let's see how this uh, how this will work now let's um, go ahead and uh, find an icon for our app I think I, I like mm, maybe this one okay so we want this 16 pixel okay so let's go here and create a new directory called assets okay so now we are ready to uh, create a tray okay. so we'll pass the icon okay so we need to pass the icon uh, path so we'll do assets slash icon dot png if we go ahead and rerun the app we see our icon right here okay so it's doing nothing we'll do a context menu Uh, let's quickly run this and if we oh, okay my bad will uh, also need to say trade dot set context menu and we'll pass this as a parameter here restart the app and uh, we get our our option here that will close the app so if you if we end up you see we uh, get it here on the on the menu bar and we don't want this so what we can do we can uh, go here and say up dot talk dot hide okay so this should remove it 
from this bar okay perfect so now let's see how we can send notifications so let's first import it let's make a function send notification let's make it blank for now the first thing that we want to check is if the notification is supported okay so maybe if you are using a very old operating system or i don't know first we check if is supported okay so we'll um, say if not supported we'll just return oh yeah we need to call notification dot show okay so let's restart and we got the notification i um, i don't know how to to show you because it's on my other screen uh, basically when we'll build the app it will have an, an icon that will be shown in the notification and uh, also will be basically the app icon that you'll you'll see so um, for that we'll need a bigger icon so maybe do some some like quotes random quotes every every time let me see basically if i paste this it will be too long maybe but uh, yeah let's make an, an array here Okay, perfect. So now that we uh, so here we can I don't know put some some interesting uh, facts about water or some other text that you want. So basically now we have a way to show the notification. So we want to show this notification like every hour. So what we'll do here instead of this will say um, set interval and okay so we'll basically um, and we'll initialize this here and uh, let's see if we have like a electron up quit event i don't think this is necessary but okay so we have this uh, quit i think so let's try this I don't think it's necessary but just to be sure this will be one second this will be one minute this will be one hour and I think that's what we want we want a single instance of the app okay so we don't want to you to be able to open the app twice okay so let's add this Now let's uh, let's add the app to run on startup. Okay, so in order to uh, do this, uh, one thing that we want is uh, basically to see 
if the updates run for the first time so why is that because uh, we want to enable the uh, uh, run on startup by default okay so in order to uh, do this we'll install a package called electron store this will basically uh, allow us to uh, save some preferences for the app okay and uh, we'll include this here and um, we'll make a function So let me explain what we did here. We initialize the, the store, okay? We uh, get this uh, item with the key run before from the store. We check if the app was run before and uh, if not, we uh, add the, the app to, to run on startup, okay? Like this. And we uh, set the value to run before to true. Perfect. So now another thing that we want to add is um, here um, we want to add an item okay so we can uh, check and uncheck this uh, for this run at, run at startup okay this will be equal to up up that get login item settings dot open at login so we want to um, put a not in front of this okay so we toggle the option and we want to um, up dot set login item settings and uh, we want to let's actually call this like this and say open at login Okay, so in JavaScript, you can basically, if the key is equal to the value, you can just uh, put in the key and uh, will be basically equal to this. Okay, perfect. So now we are ready to go back to our uh, context menu and add a label called open at startup. And uh, option and this will be uh, how did we call this toggle startup okay perfect okay and also this first run check we'll add this here And uh, this should be the app. So basically, uh, let's do a recap of what we did here, starting from the top. Okay, we included all the things that we need uh, here. We check that an if another instance of this app is already running. So we want a single instance of the app running. Uh, okay. So if it's uh, if the app is already running, we'll quit it. Now this will be called when the app is ready, so we'll hide it from the from the bar here. We'll do a first run check. Uh, okay, so this will look uh, in the storage and see if the app was run before. If it if this is the first time the app is uh, is running, we'll. Uh, set the app to run on startup okay we'll uh we'll need the try uh, try icon here and the try menu okay and uh, after that we um 
we set the notifications okay we run a notification every hour you can adjust this here so the notification function is here if the notifications are not supported we'll just uh, ignore this okay so here we have some uh, random advice that we'll uh, use in the body of our notification okay and as title we have time to drink water okay and we show the notification so we'll do this every hour so yeah basically that's it now let's see how we can uh, build this app okay so moving again into the terminal we'll need to install the um, electron uh, builder okay so we'll say npm install electron builder and we'll save this as a dependency as a dev dependency okay so in the meantime the build command that we'll use let's put it here will be something like electron builder build okay yep because we installed the package let's try this again and this should build the the app for the system you are uh, you are using right now but if you want to build it for windows for example and you are on mac you can put this option here but i'll just keep it simple for now so let's run and see if it's a uh, building yeah okay i have the wrong icon here so you need a uh, need a big icon here so let yep and let's say icon and let's try to build this again okay so the build was successful so we have our app here with our icon okay so also dmg file here to install it and if we open it okay we have it here and uh, okay it's saving the preferences and uh, now it should give us a notification every hour so that's it don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, I'll leave the, the project on GitHub so you can uh, maybe download it and improve it and uh, share with your friends. So be safe and don't forget to drink water.